The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready to come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroy those murderers, and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads, and invite the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning. We are now in the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the gospel today taken from the Evangelist Matthew shares to us the parable of the wedding feast, wherein the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. And we have heard in the gospel that the servants were sent to summon the invited guests, yet they refused to come. And some ignored the invitation and went away, while others mistreated and killed the servants. However, the king commanded his servants to go out into the streets and gather all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with dust. Trying to reflect upon the gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are to understand that noblemen or those in the elite class invite royals or of the same class to join the celebration like what we usually witness during weddings of famous people in the society. Yet, such earthly celebration is contrary to how God prepares the feast for His guests. He instead, he instead calls out the outcasts of the society, the sinners, and also the righteous to join with him in the banquet, because in the kingdom, all is welcome, and we will all be filled and satisfied. As Paul reminds us in his letter to the Philippians, saying, My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. God sends us an invitation to attend the celebration, yet it is up to us to respond to His call. This action of God portrays His goodness and generosity to His people as He calls all His children back to His care for Him to nurture and guide us to change our ways and renew our commitment and desire to Him. As the psalmist reminds us that I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Mga Ikson, kitang ka na ang iimbita sa ginuho sa iyong banggete araw kita makasinati sa kinabuhin na nito pinaagi sa iyong pagkamaayo o pagkamaluloy ko. Ketungod sa iyong walay kinutubang bukma, iyong ipaambit ka na ko ang kaluwasan. As the prophet Isaiah in the first evening tells us, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that He has saved us. Usahay, kita mismo ang balipat sa tawag sa Gino, 
Kaya tungod kini sukwahi sa atong gusto sa pinaguy. Apan sila mas nakahibalo gayud sa atong panginahanglan. Kung kung say alay alang ka na ko, kaya tungod kita iyang anak. Maudiha sa kasakit o pagsakripisyo ni Kristo sa krus, iya kita ang diatagan ng bagong pinaguy o paglaon na bisan kita sa itong kabuyan siya kanunay o mipadayo sa paghigugma ka na ito araw kita tabangan na mutubo o mahinong mamumahon sa atong kinaguy isip o sa kaanak sa Diyos ilagi na sa pagsalikway sa kinaguhing kalimutan o pagadawato ang kinaguhing langit o uban diha kang Kristo iya kitang diawga sa pagsunod sa iyong kapamatano o pinaagi sa iyang rasya, iya kitang dipalamdangan araw atong makita ang dalan sa kamatuuran where we will truly experience joy and happiness. With this, my dear friends, let's continue to pray that we will freely respond to the invitation of the Lord to join Him in the wedding feast prepared for us. May the grace of the Holy Spirit inspire us and purify our intentions so that we can truly encounter the goodness of the Lord as He reaches out to us for us to have eternal life together with Him in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. <laughs>